The inspiration for Against Nature comes from the intersection of 19th century painting, a book by Rebecca Solnit called The River of Shadows, Edvard Muybridge, Bierstadt. I think that the painting that was happening in the 19th century and the capturing of imagery of um, everything from you know Yellowstone to Yosemite to things that are imagined, largely imagined, because compositionally a lot of times the paintings don't really look like the places that they're purported to be an image of. Moybridge's photographs of Yosemite, earth and sky never happened at the same time. And for me, that that is one of the basic fundamentals in 20th century science fiction, um, where earth and sky were taken at different times, or that the sky had been filtered in a way to make earth strange and make it somewhere else, is something that I was really interested in developing these paintings and also developing the process of making these paintings. I wanted to use these you know, art historical references of places that some people will recognize, some places that exist, or some places that seem like that they should exist. I wanted to develop a, a photomechanical process that made them strange again. In each work, there's some trace of human inhabitation, but there's no life, really. That there's you know trees and plants, but no animals, no people proof that we had been there to this other place, strange and familiar. The miniature shop and the exhibition is a product of a collaboration that I made with Solange Agazuri Partridge, who's a designer in London. Having the ring in the exhibition as a, a jewel-encrusted tortoise that's my possession is a point where I see the, the critical lens being focused back on myself. The scent for the exhibition is a second collaboration that I've made with uh, Jason Wang of Best Scent from Shanghai and his daughter Lulu. I initially asked them to imagine themselves as an alien who has arrived on Earth and fell in love with it so deeply that when the alien returned home, they tried to create their experience on Earth. The thing about having a scent in an exhibition is that hopefully you're aware of it when you enter, and then when you leave, you're aware of the environment outside. And that sort of duality in the paintings of things that are once familiar and strange is that hopefully that when you go back outside and you smell like, you know, cigarette smoke or um, the scent of somebody you're walking behind or whatever it is, that you're confronted with, you know, the, the sort of experience of now.